Hey, it's Todd Hazelton from CNBC. I'm here in Brooklyn where Apple just announced a bunch of new products, including a new MacBook Air, a new Mac Mini computer, and two new iPad Pro models. This is the 11-inch iPad Pro. There's also a new 12.9-inch model. And the biggest change is there's no more home button. It just relies on Face ID. So you just look at it and unlocks just like you would on a new iPhone or the iPhone 10. Because there's no home button, you have a larger screen and about the same size form factor as older iPads. So here you have the 11-inch model, very slim bezel down below. You still have the camera on the back and surround sound speakers on all sides. A couple of new changes though, there's USB-C charging instead of lightning, which is a big change. And then you also have a magnetic Apple Pencil. It's a new Apple Pencil. It sticks to the side and while it's attached to the side, it also charges. This is the 11-inch model. It starts at $799 with 64 gigs of storage. There's also a 12.9-inch model that starts at $999 with 64 gigs. As the iPhone X was to the iPhone, the new iPad Pro represents the most significant redesign of the iPad in its eight-year history, complete with a nearly edge-to-edge -edge display that has choose the home button. That also means no Touch ID, replaced by Face ID but the true depth sensors fit in the top bezel without a notch. The new iPad Pro looks and feels incredibly sleek. The bezels have been dramatically reduced in size compared to the previous generation, although they aren't as slim as those on the iPhone X and newer. As good as Apple's palm rejection technology is, the extra space helps prevent unintended tapping and swiping. I'm not a display expert, but the liquid retina display on the new iPad Pro looks crisp with vivid colors. MacBook Air moving on, the MacBook Air received its most significant redesign since the second generation model with tapered edges was released in 2010. The new MacBook Air looks very similar to the latest MacBook and MacBook Pro models, bringing consistency to Apple's notebook lineup. That includes a retina display, yay! and the same third-generation butterfly keyboard as the latest MacBook Pro, not so yay, depending on who you ask. In the limited time I had to spend with the new MacBook Air, the Retina display looked great. It's a huge step up from the previous display. Apple says the new MacBook Air takes up 17% less volume than the previous model. As a result, the notebook now weighs 2.75 pounds, compared to just under 3 pounds for the previous model. I found the extra portability to be noticeable, and the weight difference to be negligible. I tested the new keyboard briefly and it felt and functioned the exact same as the keyboard on the 2018 MacBook Pro. Whether you hate it or like it. Mac Mini as for the new Mac Mini, Apple had only a few of them set up along the perimeter of the hands-on room. We didn't have much of an opportunity to truly play with the new Mac Mini, but it looks beautiful in its sleek new space grey finish. Beyond that, it looks more or less the same as the previous model. The real upgrades to the Mac Mini come on the inside, with up to a 3.2 GHz 6-core 8th generation Intel Core i7 processor, up to 64 GB RAM, up to 2 TB of SSD storage, and Intel UHD Graphics 630. Considering the Mac Mini was last updated in 2014, these tech specs will make it significantly faster. Apple says the new Mac Mini has up to 5 times faster performance and up to 60% faster graphics. The new Mac Mini has 4 Thunderbolt 3 ports, 1 HDMI port, 2 USB-A